my brothers and sisters. Today, I come to share with you a reflection that resonates deeply in the hearts thirsting for a message of hope and prosperity. In times when the wait seems endless, it is important to remember that Jesus Christ is the bearer of all our spiritual and material fortunes. There is a story, my dear ones, that illustrates this magnificent encounter with divine providence. In the confines of a small village lived two brothers of opposite destinies. Charlie, endowed with innate generosity, and his brother Toby, who chose the path of greed. During a severe drought, Charlie shared everything he had, while Toby kept only for himself. When hunger tightened, Charlie, even exhausted, decided to help an old lady he met along the way, while Tobe went on alone, thinking only of himself. That old lady, by divine work, transformed into a fairy and rewarded Charlie with an abundance of food, which he promptly shared with the entire village. This story teaches us that the true fortune that Jesus brings us is not measured only in material goods, but in the richness of a generous and compassionate heart. In Luke 6.38, it is written, Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you again. Thus, my dear ones, I want to encourage you to look beyond earthly expectations and see that the true blessings are those shared in love and service to others. Like the talents of eagles that are only revealed when they fly high, our true fortune is revealed when we rise above selfishness and serve others with an open heart. Today's call is for each one of us to become a bearer of this divine fortune, spreading kindness and hope wherever we go, trusting that, by doing so, we will be abundantly rewarded by the Lord in all forms of wealth that really matter. May this message strengthen your faith and renew your hope. Walk in the light of Christ and be, you too, a source of divine blessings in this world. Amen.